Tuesday. It is nice to have you back. I hope you've had a lovely day so far, a lovely start to your week, and I hope that you are enjoying your new home learning packs, which are jam-packed full of activities to guide you in your learning week. Rather than have a story today, I thought we could have a think about what a special day it is. Now, it is Tuesday, but it's something else as well. And in case you didn't know, today is actually World Creativity and Innovation Day, which is very exciting. Now, right now, we are all experiencing a bit of a weird time. We have to stay home a lot. We can't go out to restaurants for a nice treat. We can't have playdates with our friends. But although it may feel a bit strange, I think having to stay home has actually given us the opportunity to be that bit more creative with our time. Now, every day, I count my blessings because I have been given the world's best class. Shh, don't tell anyone else. And it has got in it some of the most creative children I've ever met. Honestly, you're all amazing. Creativity then is essentially making things, making things up as well. And it's such an important thing never ever to lose because you will need it in the future. You will need it to have fun, to solve problems and also to inspire others, which is important too. Okay, get your creative caps on. I'm going to show you a word. When I show you this word, have a go at reading it. It might be a bit tricky. Uh, you might need an adult's help, but otherwise just wait and I'll say it for you. It's very high tech. I've got a piece of paper here. I do miss my smart board. Not quite as good, but let's have a go anyway. Okay, so the word is create. I want you today to come up with something creative for each of the letters in this word create. Now your word might be something creative that you can do, it might be something creative that you can use or something that you can make, it might even be a word that describes how you feel when you get creative. Okay, you can also pause the video at any time for each letter, might be a good idea uh, to write or draw your ideas or just have a think about them. All right, let's get started. So, the first C. Now, sometimes, as you know from phonics, this letter has a K sound and other times it has a S sound, like in the word cinema, for example. So, you might want to have a think about uh, some words for each of those sounds. K. Okay, I'll dive right in and tell you what I thought of. When I thought of K or C, I immediately thought of cardboard. I took a route around inside my recycling box and I found some bits and pieces, most of which were made of paper or cardboard. I absolutely love cardboard. I love having a box full of goodies, full of junk, where I can go and I can build things, I can paint it, I can make this into a dinosaur or a rocket or a car, I could even add some wheels onto it. There's loads that you can do with this and it's quite good for the environment as well, obviously, to reuse um, things that we are about to recycle. So, cardboard. You may also have thought of card, colouring pencils, uh, craft, cartoons. We've got some really good cartoonists in 1JH. Uh, maybe even composing. You could compose your own music, maybe on a keyboard or on your violin, for example. Right, next one then. Er or R. Immediately my mind jumped to one thing when the letter R came up and it was rocks. Now you might have a look at this and think, hmm, how's that very creative, Mrs. Hay? Well, actually, if you remember back to our story Lost and Found in our Feel the Freeze topic, you will remember that I took these and I painted on pictures and they became our story stones. So there's actually quite a lot that you can do with rocks or stones if you've got them lying around the house or in your garden or in the driveway. Of course, ask an adult first. Don't just go painting all your rocks. You can make story stones, as I've shown you, or you can even paint on all of the different stages of a plant's life cycle and then have a go at reordering them and retelling the life cycle of a sunflower, for example. Might be a nice idea. You may also have thought of things like uh, retelling stories or making robots or playing with your remote control car, for example. Okay, eh, or the letter 
E. Okay. When I thought of E, maybe this is just a sign that Mrs. Hayes got a huge tummy and a big old appetite. But when I thought of letter E, I thought of eat, things that you can eat. Now I have definitely, definitely been baking a lot more, cooking a lot more from scratch, which has been great. I made some banana bread the other day, which I'll show you a picture of. Yummy, yummy. It's been my breakfast for over a week. <laughs> So that was one of the things that I thought of with E. You might think excitement. I definitely get excited uh, when I get creative, enthusiastic, uh, engineering. We have got tons of engineers in 1JH. Entertaining, for example, some other ideas. Right, moving on then. Ah, or the letter A. Okay, I have got a huge, huge, huge container underneath my bed probably too huge actually, but it's got lots of creative bits and pieces like stencils, washi tape, I know we're a big fan of this, um, paint brushes, I've got watercolors, I've got acrylics, I've even got coloring pencils. So all of these things help me to get creative when I'm doing some art, which was my ah word. I bet some of you thought of that one as well. So you might have thought of art, you might have thought of acting. We've got quite a lot of actors in 1JH also. Uh, you might have thought of assembling things, that means put, putting them together. Acrobatics, why not? Right, T then, T, T. I thought that I would sneak into school and rescue our friend. Do you remember Marvin? He might be looking a bit worse for wear at the moment because he's had he's had a lonely time in, in our 1JH classroom, but he is safely back home. So this is Marvin, who's a toy, a puppet or a toy. And you might get creative with your toys or teddies at home, maybe even do some theatre, which also begins with tea. You might tell stories, you might use tubes of glue to do things. You might go through your hammer beads and make some trinkets, for example. Trinket might be a new word for you. Have a look for that one in the dictionary. Okay, almost there. Eh, the final E in create. Now we've had two S, haven't we? We've had two E's, so you might want to double up on this one. But I think this would be a nice way to wrap up our assembly now, to think about the fact that everywhere we go, everything we see is wonderful and creative and can be an opportunity to make something or to even make up something. So creativity is actually everywhere. Sometimes when you're feeling a bit glum and a bit unmotivated, you have to look a bit harder for it, but it is all around us. Thank you for listening today. I'm going to go now and get a bit creative and I hope to see you on my screen soon. Bye.